Muslim on Metropolis. Over here in the right hand side from Team Evil Genius's raid call, it is Benjamin Baker, also known as The Muslim, who has recently released a, a series of blogs on his Facebook saying, you know what, it's time for a change. It seems like a lot of players are just, you know, trying to change everything. You know, Wretch trying to quit smoking, The Muslim's trying to focus more and, and get everything out. He says, no more excuses. I don't want to play any more excuses for my play. And he says, at the very end, NASL will be my biggest priority, by the way. So that was a nice shout out there from the Muslim. Over on the left hand side, or we have from Team MVP, it is Finale. Uh, he re recently got into Codex for the first time, and he looked great. Um, Finale is is a solid, solid player, and I mean, some of the plays that we included, uh, or, or sorry, that we looked at him, especially his series against Demago, was really cool to watch, being able to pull himself back despite uh, falling behind really early. He's a monster, man, an absolute beast. Uh, somebody who I, who was not even on my radar prior to this season, but now who I'm watching very, very closely. Um, and uh, his games against Demaka are one of the really big reasons why. Uh, basically taking unwinnable positions and making it work. Of course, it required uh, mistakes to be made on Demaka's side, but uh, I was really happy to see just uh, how scrappy Finale can actually be. So Metropolis is the map. Uh, Terran versus Protoss, a matchup where Metropolis often sees the super late game, quite frankly. Yeah, I mean, uh, th what's the, the adage that Metropolis starts when the game gets, when everyone gets on three bases, right? So that's kind of the idea. It's very safe for all kinds of styles of play. Triple Nexus, Triple Command Center, and you still can hold off. Uh, although it, it does get a little bit murky, some Protosses choose to punish with Fast Colossus. And Finale is kind of like that Double Forge player in Protoss vs. Terran. He does like going for massive, uh, massively upgraded units, likes being very powerful, kind of scales back his economy because of it sometimes, but he's also capable of switching it up and going for fast third nexus as well. So I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really expecting the Muslim to be the playmaker here because he's the one who for a while did struggle against Protoss, uh, and I I'm really looking forward to see how the Muslim will be able to how clever Finale, because Finale, the, the biggest parts of his Protoss vs. Terran was no one could drop him. MMA couldn't drop him. QXC couldn't drop him. Will the Muslim be able to be the one to outmaneuver this opponent, especially because if the Muslim beats Finale, who knows? The Muslim still has to play Sen. He could be the one taking first place in his division. It's not impossible. Not at all. So, uh, And you also have to wonder, the Muslim openly saying, hey, I, I'm really focused on my NASL matches. This is a league that I want to go far in. What is he prepared for finale. Maybe he was taking notes from those other guys. Maybe he's not even going to try to drop, or maybe he's found a way to make it work. We are seeing one rack's fast expand from the Muslim here. So he does at least want to play the macro game, which is, of course, what you would expect on Metropolis. Yep. Of course. Uh, from here, both players have a, a, an extraordinary amount of options. The Muslim following up with very standard three barracks, uh, not even double gassing, really. So he's going to really focus heavily on uh, just, you know, the amount of units he can get out early on. Finale, meanwhile, he's going to be the one that we focus on because he also, uh, hmm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put it, but he's he's kind of like a sc reactive player in Protoss vs. Terran. He scouts and then pushes compared to, you know, like a player like MC who just likes being aggressive at all stages of Protoss vs. Terran. Uh, this map is very, very big, though, and I think the Muslim's doing the right thing, scouting for proxies early on. You don't know if, if Protoss would go for early gateway bust either, so you want to make sure to cover all your bases. Finale right now just controlling both Zonaga Towers and sitting back. Um, while the Muslim's adding barracks, he's, uh, he's going to play this sort of biocentric style that, that we know him for, and that is the norm, of course, in the matchup. Um, I think in most cases you don't really see Terran leaving their bases until they get a couple of medevacs out and maybe some upgrades. Yeah, there's uh, there's a couple things that Terrans actually are experimenting with, like a marine poke early on if you know your opponent isn't going for more than one stalker. Uh, but Finale, of course, he's been very, very active. Look at this, a fast third nexus. This is what we were talking about. You can get away with doing it on a map like Metropolis. And Finale even has two probes per gas. So he's really squeezing out as many minerals, spending all those corner boosts on his nexus. He's playing this super greedily. The Muslim will be the one who has to punish him because Finale at like the 11 to 12 minute mark will just have an incredible amount of units, especially if he goes for the eight gate style and just has a mass of units. The good news for the Muslim is that he's not thrown down a third command center yet, so it does look like he's thinking some kind of aggression off of two bases. His, uh, his STEM research, only about 25% of the way uh, complete, but um, factories finishing up. Starport will soon follow. Medivacs will be out, so I think, I think it's 
possible that the Muslim could hit a timing here with, uh, with say, combat shields and plus one. Yeah, well, we'll see uh, what he chooses to do. Usually the two medevacs is a nice time. I also like the Muslim's choice of build. We've seen Polt do this a lot in turn versus Protoss. Uh, not exactly sure where it is, but you delay the add-ons onto the barracks until you get your starport out. That way, and you squeeze out a little bit of more Marauders that way. You can use that extra gas, have a little bit more security of defense early on, and of course Marauders dominate Stalkers early uh, in the Protoss versus turn matchup. The Muslim, of course, he sees some kind of uh, fake pressure. For now, it looked like he was going to place a proxy pylon, but he just wants to see how greedy the Muslim is to see what he can get away with. Look at this mass teching from Finale. He's going Robo as well as Twilight Council and even a Forge. Man, Finale is playing as greedily as possible, Ben. That's exactly right. He does have six, maybe seven gates down behind this, so he does have some freedom to produce units, but he's going to be so starved for resources for a period of time. Now, once this three base really starts to kick in, Finale's going to take off. So the Muslim, he's going to need to do something fairly soon. If he waits much longer, I think this game may snowball out of his control. Well, I think I like this pick a lot from uh, Finale as well, going blink armor instead of charge plus one weapons. It's, it's a great way to cover your base. Metropolis is a big map. And you do have a lot of ledge area to cover from your main all the way down. And Blink, that mobility is very key. Uh, and Blink will finish by the time Medivacs even get across the map just by the sheer size of, of Metropolis. Uh, the Muslim has a lot of units, though, and you can be very tricky with how you do things. And this requires the initiative of Terran to be clever. I talk about this with Greetorp all the time. You have to really outsmart your opponents in this stage. But when you do, you can easily get really far ahead. The Muslim is going to go ahead and push out. He's got his third command center building behind this, so he's not uh, he's not trying to do any sort of crazy all in. But it is plus one combat shields, stim, and double medevac for the Muslim against Finale, who is going to try to hold this with only a couple of gateway units and an immortal. Uh, the Muslim moving out with his medevacs needs to kind of group things together. Also getting good sense of unit composition. Sees that Fanai does have a good number of force fields. Ooh, stimming one marine very smart from the Muslim, making sure to to gauge again the strength of his army, whether or not he can f uh, pretty much confront. And I don't think so. With guardian shields and plus one armor about to finish, that's going to be very tough, especially since blink is also done. Uh, Finale also researching charge. This is where his production is really starting to kick in. He's gotten mass gateways. And the Muslim does have three medevacs with a fourth trailing. So this is going to really empower him. And he's on the clock until Colossus comes up. I love how aggressively Finale is defending. He's coming forward. He's meeting the army of the Muslim. He's gonna, if there's going to be a fight, Finale's going to force it to be on his terms in a favorable position. And the Muslim's not really sure what to do against this. He is going to go ahead and load up these medevacs. But I don't know if that's going to work. There are Stalkers waiting in the wings. Wow, Finale playing this so smart, blinking his Stalkers up, just force fielding and pressuring off. The Muslim doesn't know about this third Nexus. In fact, I'm, I'm positive the Muslim would have pressured this third the entire time. But now Finale has a Colossus that's about to come out, and that's going to change everything considering the Muslim has no form of uh, Vikings. He's gotten six medevacs instead. Marine will stim and run down. Oh, he can't get force fielded. He has to be so cautious. He has to stim and make sure not to engage, but they get caught. The Colossus oh, is now free. Wow, huge, huge force fields. A lot of units do get caught. The Muslim is able to lift up and evacuate with some of his units, but not all of them, not by a long shot. And Finale is pushing the Muslim back. The Muslim's in a little bit of trouble here as he does not have the army composition he needs to combat the army composition that Finale possesses. Yeah, and the Muslim try to go for a drop into the main as well, but has to also control his units outside of the bases in the middle of the map. A lot of his medevacs are also free for the pick. Stalkers can blink forward, and sniping the medevacs early on is so huge because of the gas investment. Oh, man, Finale being able to get maybe three of them. That's huge pickoffs for Finale, and the Muslim is running out of options, and Finale is getting way, way, way strong, especially since he's now finishing a plus one and thermal lance. He is <laughs> his army composition is too strong for the Muslim to hold. The Muslim doesn't have anything right now, Dan. He's just got uh, a handful of bio. He has no medevacs. He's been nearly stimmed to death. Uh, I think the only reason Finale is not pushing right now is because he doesn't have a reinforcing pylon. So he's going to group up with his army. He's probably sending a probe forward. Yep, but we see a couple pylons going down on the Muslim side of the map already. And we are going to see a big, big push from Finale here in just a second. Uh, two Vikings are out into the middle map. Again, you're, you're right, Ben. These units have pretty much st 
stim themselves to death, they'll almost instantly die to the to the one swipe of the Colossus because of how weak they are. So let's also have charge, plus one, plus one. Finale has an awesome timing if he chooses to go for it instead. Looks like he's going to try to deny this third base. Maybe able to catch a couple of medivacs. Yeah, no, those medivacs so. will skirt to safety, but uh, Finale still with a bit of a, of a, of a window here. All the, wow, look at that big, <laughs> the big warp in. Takes him to 180 supply. Archons will probably be the uh, the nail in the coffin here as Demuslim, while his supply is climbing, while his army does look daunting. I just don't know if he's going to have enough. Finale is just huge right now, and here he comes. Demuslim has to pull his SCVs. Uh, the concave for Demuslim is nice, but he doesn't have the mass amounts of units he needs to combat this, although he's cutting very nicely back. The Archons are doing massive amount of damage. Eight kills, nine kills. GG from Demuslim, and Finale takes game number one. After his uh, greedy opening pays huge dividends. Yeah, just kind of thumped wow. the Muslim there. It just shows you like how, how dangerous it is just to let Protoss roll like that when mm -hmm. they get so much up. I mean, to go three Nexus off of like a Zell and a Stalker and a Sentry and then go Robo Twilight Forge. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many, there's so many uh, aggressive things that Terran could have done to punish that. But in this case, Finale metagamed the Muslim nicely, realizing that this is a player that likes to kind of sit back and macro uh, Finale just sort of said, all right, well, I'm going to sit back in macro two. I'm just going to do it more. And as a result, was able to capitalize on the Muslim for being passive yeah. and just get too big. Nothing wrong with the Muslim's build order. No. Just, again, uh, it's, it's just weaker to that kind of style of play as uh, Finale takes game number one. That game was brought to you by Epson, the number one projector brand worldwide. Check them out at epson.com slash projectors. When we come back, game number two between the Muslim and Finale, we'll find out who will fight for that first place spot. We'll be right back.